night off. And first up tonight, City Hall Showdown. The Pueblo City Council president is defending council members from accusations they illegally met behind closed doors to talk about your tax money. As we first reported this week, the accusations are coming from a city councilman. Cardio News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel joins us live with new developments. James, if there was bad blood among some council members before today, what happened this morning did not help. City Council claims it broke no laws by meeting privately to discuss diverting millions of dollars. But City Councilman Chris Nickel says what council did was illegal. This is a great day in Pueblo, Colorado. It's not a dark day. That may have been what Councilman Kaufman hoped for, but it didn't happen. Behind closed doors, we did begin this blueprint. All of us did. Kaufman admitted council met privately to talk about new ways to use $41 million collected through the city's half cent sales tax, money that is earmarked for economic development. Did city council do anything improper? Absolutely not. Daff and Kaufman believe there's nothing to apologize for. They say there's too much money set aside for economic development and want half of that money, $20 million, to go toward other projects. In my humble opinion, Councilman Nickel has displayed no respect for this city council. Daff says council may choose to censure Nickel for talking to the media, but when Nickel took the podium, he wasn't worried. What happened today was more of the cover-up as far as I'm concerned. Nickel accused Kaufman of holding secret meetings because he did not want information about a proposed ballot question made public. Kaufman eventually walked out during Nickel's presentation, but not before Nickel and the city attorney exchanged a war of words. Where is your proof that any of this was discussed in executive session? Well, when you turn off the tape, sir, there is no proof. That's the problem with this process. Nickel says the recorder was turned off during that portion of executive session as is common procedure because council was told it was getting legal advice. But many voters are upset, saying council wasn't actually getting legal advice, it was talking politics. Just opening up, you know, a bag of worms, you might say. I'm, I'm disappointed in the way it's handled. You know, I think that I, I want to see the town strive again. I want to see that everybody motivated about being in public. Councilman Chris Kaufman says council will be holding several town hall meetings to talk about how it wants to use the money that is currently earmarked for economic development. He insists he wants the public to be a part of this process. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Michelle. Now to a major month.